At one point, it was gaming wisdom that you were supposed to install your OS away from your games in order to get faster loading time and better performance. Does this myth in 2020 hold true or are NVMe drives so fast now that you just don't need to worry about it anymore? I am The Green Tech, a gaming insider. And if you would like to learn how to improve your gaming performance, start now by clicking that subscribe button. To give you a little bit of a preview, I pretty much found it doesn't matter anymore. The conventional wisdom simply does not hold up. The technology for accessing these drives at these super high rates simply isn't there yet. So pretty much install your games and your OS on whatever drive you want. But let's dive into some of these numbers and the benchmarks that I ran and have a little bit of a conversation around this topic. While the OS drive did not impact the game loading speed, the ability to install games on a faster drive versus a fast drive versus a fastish drive was evident. You actually had a clear difference in being able to install things faster if you had the faster drive itself. Of course, file transfer, as expected, was also significantly faster going from one faster drive to the fastest drive here in the bunch. Eventually though, technology will catch up. Quite honestly, we're going to see a time when the new consoles and their technology as it pertains to storage access finds its way into NVIDIA, AMD, and Microsoft. So what my recommendation for you, if you are looking at building a new system with these faster drives, is to target the 5,000 read speed. Most likely, this is going to be the one that Sony enables for the PS5 and probably is going to help set a benchmark standard that a lot of developers are going to code to. By having that speed, you actually don't need the fastest drives on the market today. The former champion, the Rocket 4, has been dropping down in price. Last I saw, it was $50 cheaper than the Rocket 4 Plus, which in and of itself is pretty good deal at $200 for one full terabyte. Games and documents, they can live on another drive. So long as you have at least a PCI 3, it seems like games simply don't care. They're not taking full advantage of the speed that we have available today. So simply buy a cheaper drive to store your documents and your games on. Now that the NVMe is out of the way, it's time to move on to fans, which also has a lot of conventional wisdom that may not hold true here in 2020. And you can check that video out right there. <laughs> 